This is the council plan submitted by the applicant. The council plan outlines the public parking area, agriculture and agritourism open fields, and the proposed vineyard. Next slide, three. The applicants are Tyler and Ashley Lynn, and the property owner is RTV LLC. The county owners of parcels are located on the road, Route 122. The zoning map shows the parcels current zoning designation as PCD with a corridor overlay and the immediate surrounding zoning also. The land use map identifies the subject parcel and surrounding properties as commercial designations, properties further to the northeast as commercial light industrial and commercial. The aerial photograph from 2022 shows the parcels are currently developed as a single family dwelling with various accessory structures. And uh, We've uh, done very well with our lines. Our lines have been uh, excelling not only on a state level, but also on a national level, and even winning several world competitions. So we've done very well. Uh, my wife Ashley and I have connections here to the lake. We have several properties in Bedford County. We have resided here before, previously, and our goal is to uh, move back towards this way. And this would be one step in how we would be able to do that. We do think that our farm line rate and Crazily sad, the tourism operation um, would be beneficial to Bedford County. We are a very family friendly winery. We uh, do lots of events that involve people of all ages, all socioeconomic statuses. We are the great uniter. Um, we do this with our wines. We make 34 different wines. We have a wine for everybody. Um, we have events for everyone from a couple years old um, all the way up to uh, senior citizens. Um, with uh, this property, our proposal to make this an agricultural property is actually by necessity, because without that, this is not fly, because we are a Virginia farm winery. And so we operate under agriculture. We have no commercial involvement whatsoever. We are a working farm. Last year, we harvested enough grapes to produce 185,000 bottles of wine, which we produced all on our own property, from our own grapes, without buying a single grape from elsewhere. I did this all personally myself with the help of our wine consultant. The wine that we have never left our family farm. The grapes are grown right there. I prune them for better or worse. I take care of them. We harvest them, we produce the wine, and then we actually even have an automated bottling line which bottles all the wine right there. So whatever you get is truly a farm product. Furthermore, we are working farm in many ways. We actually have other products that we sell and market to the public. We have uh, about 5,000 Christmas trees growing. We uh, market and sell sunflowers, wildflowers. We grow sweet corn. We have about 10 acres of pumpkins that we sell to kids. We have a big pumpkin patch and corn maze. Um, we are very, very much an agritourism operation. We are actively farming and actively involved. I myself was one of the state's most successful and busiest orthopedic surgeons until I walked away at 44 years old because in the words of one of the people that trained me, the only reason I was an orthopedic surgeon is so I could afford to be a farmer. So I have now become a farmer. I have uh, become very close to uh, Secretary of uh, Agriculture, Matt Moore, who's the uh, Secretary of Agriculture under uh, Youngkin's administration. I'd like to ask and I'll get to go meet Governor Youngkin uh, right after tomorrow for the uh, Governor's Cup where we won another gold medal this year for our wines. During our conversations, we've talked a lot about agritourism, about how it's abused, how it's used, and how it's intended. Basically, the spirit of agritourism is to enable farms to survive. And farms need help nowadays. We're losing a lot of family farms, and agritourism is a way that we're able to support the farm. Our events, we sell more wine at our events than we do the rest of the year combined. If you take away our agritourism events, then our winery ceases to exist because we cannot maintain it. It's kind of been our goal is to bring people to the farm, to see agriculture in action, to uh, buy our products, whether they're farm-grown vegetables, sunflowers,